Welcome back to Golf Quest, everyone. I recently tried out Steve Johnson's Eureka Golf Swing, and I actually kind of like it. It's one of those swings where it reminds me of that 80s or 90s infomercial. If you followed all the instructional material, you just That's how I feel. I feel like when I set up right, I can just swing away and I don't have a lot of swing thoughts, if any. And the ball is just, it's going where I want it to go. So I'm gonna go over my understanding of the Eureka Golf Swing today, how to set up, what I'm doing. Fire in the comments, have you tried this swing? Do you like it? Let me know what you think. Of course, all of the information, I'm not taking any credit for this. This all belongs to Steve Johnson. Go check out his YouTube channel. Follow my setup. Do you set up the same way I do? Am I missing anything? And then I'm gonna try a skills challenge on Skytrack to see how effective it is. Let's go. All you have to do is you're going to take Take three rods and have them form, uh, come to a point. Now the distance between the rods are approximately, as far as my understanding, is a grip length or so. So I'm going to use my five iron here as a measuring rod to kind of get the right distance and join them at the point, but have them about a grip length apart like that. And then I do the same thing for the final rod, about a grip length apart, bring them together to an approximate point. And there, my Eureka rods or canes are approximately set up in the right position. So once you have those rods in place, my understanding of the setup is pretty simple. You put your club aligned to the target, so it's pointing at the target. You then open up your feet so they're aligned to the rod that's closest to you, keeping your shoulders in line with that center target or center rod, I should say. And now I'm going to rotate the face. And as I do that, the handle moves forward a little bit. So the face is aligned with the club path rod. Now I'm gonna take my grip from there. And from my perspective, when I take my grip from there, I'm kind of covering up my right ankle or my lead foot ankle, I should say. So left foot ankle for those uh, right-handed golfers. And now I'm kind of set up. And this is where it kind of reminds me of that infomercial. Of you just set it and forget it. Now I'm set up, all I'm thinking about is taking the club back along that club path line. And then my hands and club are gonna trace that club path line and release through the ball. So very simple again, club aligned to target, open up my feet along the feet rod, open the face so it's aligned with the club rod, take my grip, creating kind of a flat lead wrist there. And then I'm gonna set it and forget it and just swing away. To set up the skills challenge, I'm gonna select game improvement, then skills assessment, then I'm gonna change the number of shots per target to three, just to make this go a little faster. And then I'm gonna select the clubs that I'm gonna use for each shot. And now I'm ready to go. Not even warmed up, by the way, just so you know. First swings of the day. First shot up, 60 yards. Slight pulls here, but overall pretty happy. Just thinking, set it.
tendency right slash long. That's interesting. Dynamic handicap of 8.6. Don't know what the dynamic handicap for sure means. 8.6 is lower than my real handicap. My real handicap is just under 12 right now, but I'm pretty happy with that considering, like I said, I stretched a little bit, didn't hit any balls, no warm up right out of the gate. I do truly feel like this swing is a set it and forget it swing. I'm going to keep exploring it, keep working with it. Probably going to play 18 holes and post it on the channel. So that might be my next video. So stay tuned for that. But I have high hopes. I think this might actually help me get better at golf. And of course, that's what we're all looking for. Leave a comment below. Let me know again. Have you tried the Eureka swing? Do you like it? What didn't you like about it? What do you love about it? All that wonderful stuff. Also, if you've made it this far, if you wouldn't mind just taking one second, hitting that like button and subscribe goes a long way, helps up the channel and it's much appreciated. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time on Golf Quest.